All right guys, Papa Pepper back once again. Today we're talking about bullfrogs and just kind of telling the difference between the males and the females. Um, there are distinctions between the males and the females and they're rather easy to figure out. So this is the North American bullfrog, also referred to as the bullfrog. It's kind of from Canada down to the southern United States across the eastern part is its native region, but it's also been introduced throughout North, Central, and South America, and then also um, Asia, I think Western Europe. There's a number of other places that it's been naturalized now. A lot of people will uh, import this to their area to use as a food source. Um, we don't eat them. We think they're really cool creatures and definitely like seeing them around. But also a lot of people will dissect these in high school. Um, a lot of times the science classes will use these to kind of show anatomy so a lot of these just get used for cutting open and peeking inside, which uh, is kind of sad for them. So the bullfrogs are a big frog. They're very cool. Um, the tadpoles are absolutely huge. It can take anywhere from a couple months down here in the south to up to three years for a tadpole to metamorphosize into an actual frog, which is pretty cool. And they're different from the green frogs, which is another common frog in the area, because this flap here that goes around the tympanum, around the eardrum, on a green frog, it extends all the way down the back. Here, it just loops around the tympanum, the eardrum, and that's about it. So these guys, when they breed, when they mate, um, the females can lay up to 20,000 eggs, which is a lot, but if you think about it, both frogs and then um, their tadpoles are a good food source for a lot of creatures, raccoons and herons and um, all sorts of fish. All different stuff's gonna eat them. These guys, as far as their diet, they'll eat insects, they'll eat minnows, they'll eat small birds, small turtles, small snakes, they'll eat other frogs, they'll pretty much gobble down anything wiggling in front of them. So they're kind of a force to be reckoned with. Another cool thing about these guys is in the wild, they can live for like up to a decade, but they have been reported at over 15 years in captivity. So quite a long life for, uh, for an amphibian in these parts. Um, two simple ways to tell them apart. Number, well, I'll give you three, but there's two simple ways. Number one is that the females will grow bigger than the males, but if they're not the same age, you might not be able to tell. These two, to me, look of exactly the same size. But if you notice, this one has a yellow throat, this one has a white throat. The yellow throat is going to be the male. And to double check that, you look at the tympanum, the tympanum of the females is going to be the same size or slightly smaller than the eye. The tympanum on the male is going to be larger than the eye. So this one has a larger tympanum, this one has a smaller one. It's about that easy to tell if your bullfrog is a male or a female. So like I said, these guys are awesome. We love seeing them. Um, definitely like catching them, just checking them out, photographing them, and letting them go because the more of them that are out there now, the more that'll be out there later. Hopefully you guys learned something. Pop out. So guys, with the trivia from the last video, the correct answers were gar, male, two, and yes. So if you answered all four of those questions correctly, you're in the running for a shout on this video. The shout on this video goes to Jimmy Green. Jimmy Green, you're the big winner. So with the trivia from this video, what can you tell about the throats on male and females? What color is the male? What color is the female? Number two, which of the sexes has a larger eardrum tympanum? Is it the male or is it the female? Number three, how many eggs did I say a uh, female bullfrog could lay? And number four, what is one thing that I mentioned that these bullfrogs will eat? If you know the answer to those four questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be choosing one person who answers all four of them correctly to give a shout out to in an upcoming video. Stay wild.